Greetings friends and fellow nerds. One of the reasons I started this channel was to have real world discussion in a fictional setting. So we're not bringing too much baggage. This video, I want to talk about judgment or making a snap judgment. And how I'm going to do it is have a look at a painting of real people then look at fictional characters from my favourite show, Babylon 5. In particular, one man called Sniper, who is portrayed as not being a very nice guy. But we're seeing a snapshot in time, as we see in this painting. And before we judge the man as irredeemable we need to look at the background to how he got there and case in point I'll begin here with a story of how I reacted to this painting I was walking through this the art gallery it hangs in which is the Crawford Municipal Gallery in Cork City Ireland and discussing with a friend we looked through each of these characters and one character in particular stood out to us. This character here. We looked at him and said, this guy looks like he could cut off parts of a man, cut off his hands, his feet, and pause for a sandwich. And this is probably a very unfair assessment. We looked at him and said, this man is killed. And when you don't know about the history of the war, or any war, you might judge somebody rashly. That guy probably saw terrible things, and that's what we were seeing in his eyes, not what we were bringing to the table, that this guy is a killer, cold, stone-hearted killer. And this is a real man. And we may have been judging him unfairly. So you see why it's difficult to talk about real world events. We're talking about a man who we know nothing about. We know nothing what he's been through. And we are making a snap judgment. I think we're all guilty of that. And to highlight that, let's look at a character from Babylon 5. And I want you to be honest with yourself. When I'll present him first. And I want you to, even in the comments, let me know. Did you draw the same conclusion to this character? We drew, me and my friend, about that man in that painting. Initially, I was going to look at several of the people from that painting and look at several characters from Babylon 5 and compare them. But playing around with this video and after a few stop starts, I felt it better to concentrate on just one. And that is Sniper from the episode Ceremonies of Light and Dark from season three. Now this character never gets a name and as you'll see from this scene, he wasn't a very pleasant guy during the war. But I am actually more critical of his commander. So let's have a look at that scene. And what do you judge this guy to be like? And hold that thought. I will show you later where he came from. During the war, I once took seven days to kill him in Bari. First you tie off the fingers one at a time. Then you slice off the fingers. And the feet. The hands. The arm. The legs. You should have seen it. Don't worry. We will. Now that was deplorable. I mean truly deplorable. And nothing I'm saying here means that I'm condoning 
saying that it should go unpunished. What I am saying is we shouldn't judge this man as evil and not try and help him. We shouldn't judge this man and say, well, he should be executed. He should be killed. People like this need to be driven out of our society. So how did you judge him? And what was the context that drove him to do that terrible thing? Not saying everyone in that war did or everyone fell as far as he. But before you finalize your judgment, here are a few scenes from the movie in the beginning that will give you the context of Sniper. It was the best of us. They struck me down from occasion. There was no reason. Animals. Brutal. They deserve no mercy. Strike them down. Follow them to the basement. And kill them all of them. All of them. No mercy. Where the Minbari strike, nothing is left alive. Even ships no longer capable of fighting are targeted and destroyed. So surrender on any scale is not an option. The humans, I think, knew they were doomed. But where another race would surrender to despair, the humans fought back with even greater strength. When they ran out of ships, they used guns. When they ran out of guns, they used knives and sticks and bare hands. They were magnificent. I only hope that when it is my time, I may die with half as much dignity as I saw in their eyes at the end. They did this for two years. They never ran out of courage. But in the end, they ran out of time. Are we on? This is, the, this is the president. I've just been informed that our mid-range military bases at Beta Durrani and Proxima Three have fallen to the Mimbari advance. We've lost contact with Io and must conclude that they too have fallen to an advanced force. Our military intelligence believes that the Mimbari intend to bypass Mars and hit Earth directly, and the attack may come at any time. We have continued to broadcast our surrender and a plea for mercy. They have not responded. We therefore can only conclude that we stand at the twilight of the human race. By any chance, did that change anything for you? Did knowing what Sniper went through, what humanity went through during that period, did it change how you feel about it? It doesn't excuse what he did, not for one second. It doesn't excuse war crimes, not for one second. But did it change how you judged the man? Yes, for me it did. And here's a quick note on judgment from a great work of fiction, The Lord of the Rings. It's a pity Bilbo didn't kill him when he had the chance. Pity? It was pity that stayed Bilbo's hand. Many that lived deserved death, and some that died deserve life. Can you give it to them, Frodo? Do not be too eager to deal out death and judgment. Even the very wise can see all animals. I know this was a little different to my usual, and I hope it wasn't too disjointed and that you got something out of this. And if you're here till the end, thank you for sticking around. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If not, well, give it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and thank you once again my friends and I'll end this as I end most may you all get to heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead God bless and thank you